Whether it's fixing your figures or talking about effect parts, it's all about quality of life with Steven's Toy Tips. Hey there collectors, it is Steven here and I have another how-to video for you. So let's just say you got your new favorite figure in the mail and you know what, it's going along pretty dang awesome, but um, as you're uh, moving it around, you know, oh, oh, you got some, uh, some stuff that's kind of, well, it's fallen apart, right? You got some stuff that's kind of loose and you don't quite know what to do. Well, I made a rather uh, popular uh, video on how to loosen joints on your action figures, right? Well, now it's time to circle back and make a video on how to tighten up those joints on your figure. So today, we're gonna be talking about a couple of different methods. Unfortunately, one of those methods I do not have with me, so uh, we're not gonna be able to t really talk about that method, but I will, uh, well, I won't be able to show it to you, but I'll certainly be able to talk about it because I've used it in the past. So, what do we have here? What is going to be the most popular way? And what is going to be another way, but not necessarily the best for you? So, my subject here today is going to be the Nine Modelism Jungle Lord. So, this is a figure which uses Revel Tech joints, but unfortunately, uh, some of the swivel connections on it don't necessarily hold up too well in some parts. You can actually, let me hold it up to the camera here, you can see in some spots, maybe if this will focus, may, maybe, there you go. In some spots, you can see there was an attempt to fix the looseness, but unfortunately, it didn't hold up so well in the final uh, result. So we're here to see what we can do to remedy this situation and uh, take care of that. So what are the different methods that we have? Well, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the pledge with future method. That is going to be the most popular one. Um, and I'm gonna demonstrate that for you right now. So you can do this in a couple of different ways. Uh, one, this will represent a toothpick. What some folks like to do is they like to take a toothpick and they like to dip it in just a little bit of pledge. And then they like to add it into the socket. They just like to coat it. And then reinsert the joint as shown. Wiggle it around, back and forth, and then wait for it to dry. Another means you can just do insert the joint into the pledge. Insert it back into the socket. You're gonna have excess. Pull it out. Dab away the excess. Rotate it, turn it back and forth, work out any more excess and then wait for it to dry. This can usually wait or take overnight. Kong, unfortunately, oh, Kong, excuse me, Jungle Lord, uh, for this example, unfortunately doesn't use any ball joints. Another method is you can take a syringe or you can take an eyedropper and you can soak it out and then you can just inject it or drop it into a ball joint or a difficult to reach spot and then just work the joint around. So this way you can work in the pledge with future in it. The floor gloss or floor polish version. Uh, so this way it will be able to work and tighten up those joints. Now, why is it in specific that this works? Well, this is the rebrand of the future. Uh, well, the pledge with future in it. Now, why again does that work? Well, the future is an acrylic base, and most of the action figures or were originated from the Gunpla kits, they're all plastic. Acrylic works with plastic. So what that does is this essentially, as it hardens, creates a layer on that joint or in that socket, increasing the friction, making it tighter, 
so you're not going to have a super loosey goosey connection it's going to work a bit smoother right now there is a wood gloss version that looks remarkably similar even before the rebranding don't get the wood gloss why that uses an animal fat base i don't think i need to explain why you don't want to use uh, an animal fat base so uh, we're not going to have an over uh, 30 second simple fix there for uh, Jungle Lord here, but I'm going to keep working this a little bit. Hopefully we'll get some results relatively soon before the end of this recording section. Now, there's another method that I can show you in this video uh, we're going to be taking a look at. It is not one that I recommend, but I made mention of acrylic. Plastic super glue the reason i don't recommend this if you mess this up you can fix it but if you mess it up effectively you're done you're never going to be able to really truly bring it back to where it was before because you're probably going to get it on your fingers you're going to get it stuck to his chest stuck to another part you're going to leave a nice big old super glue fingerprint there wherever uh and depending on the type of plastic Jungle Lord is actually made of resin here, I do believe. Uh, you may actually break it down and you may cause damage. I'm going to show you how to do it anyway a little bit. So the way that you use super glue is very simple but easy to mess up. So you get a little bit of super glue. Just a little bit. Uh, I'm using a nail here. For this particular tube one of the issues with super glue too is that it's not intended to stick around <laughs> for a long time it's meant to be used for short bursts you use it up and then it's gone see my fingers are already getting sticky okay so i have a little bit I'll wipe some of that off. Okay. Okay, so I got a little bit. So then you can kind of see. I already put too much on there. So then I put it on and then I just keep spinning remove and this is the method you don't keep the contact on there don't let it sit super glue cures fast and it will cause permanent stickage which is not what we want I think we can let it sit for a little bit. And now that hand does not want to fall off as often. Yep. Oh, that's even so much of a tight fit that it wants to pull out the wrist joint. So I'm going to let that air out. That's that. Now. There's one other method that I want to talk about. Uh, you'll hear some folks talk about this, and that is uh, clear coat nail polish. It's going to be the same idea as the pledge with future in it, uh, but what essentially that is, is you take clear top coat nail polish, you coat the joint that you want to tighten up, and then you let it sit for a little bit, and then you pop the joint assembly back together, disassemble pop it back together kind of like super glue but not really and that will work because once again that's acrylic it'll thicken up the joint and you'll be good to go so that's basically it that's how you use the pledge so you can tighten up stuff let it sit super glue method eh, not really the biggest fan because it's very easy to mess up 
and ruin everything. And then you do have the clear coat nail polish, which unfortunately I don't have, but that is a method that I like to use uh, when I have it available because I think it really works. And you can actually take nail polish remover in small bits. You can put it on a little cotton ball and you can undo pretty much anything that you do with it. So yeah, there you go. All right, well, I hope that this video was helpful for you if you have some loose joints. Drop a comment down below, which method do you like the most? Which do you find most helpful? And uh, do you have any other tips for tightening up joints? Some folks like to wad up paper towel and do that. Um, other folks just like to try heating stuff up and putting in the freezer and maybe resetting stuff. Sometimes that works, other times it doesn't. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all the patrons who help make these videos possible. And if you're interested in a shirt like I've been wearing throughout this video, there's gonna be a link in the end card that's popping up or in the description down below, which I hope you check out some other videos as well. All right, thank you so much again, and I'll catch you in the next video.